Well hello everyone and welcome back to another video the F122 Drive Crimmer with Williams episode number 22 today for the final episode of season 1 at Abu Dhabi. If you missed the previous episode an eventful uh, wet sprint and a dry race at Brazil I recommend you go and check that out and of course subscribe if you are new to the channel see plenty more F122 Drive Crew Mode videos going into season 2. Season 2 by the way will be out this time next week. But R and D, we've got just a few things left. I don't think we're going to get all of these done. I think we're going to, you know, we've got three left on the uh, arrow. We're going to make that two, and then on the sashi side, um, it's just about looking at the ones, the major weight reduction uh, one as well. That's the only others that I know. So we're going to, we've got a couple left on either side um, that we might not get done. Um, for the end of the season but of course nobody has brought any upgrades because of course the threat of that uh, R&D regulation reset into season 2 on the Aero and Sashi side who will come out on top we'll have to wait and see you know likes of Mercedes, Red Bull, Ferrari and even Alpine are up there everyone's close together um, as well engine wise for this final race we're pretty good because we took so many engine parts early in the season where we had such dreadful qualifying so um you know um the, the, the fact of the matter is we probably did almost half the engines that we have but nevertheless um it's just about finding the ones that has the least amount of wear and applying them for the race um as well not that we really needed it um, and not we really need that much power around here I don't think yes you've got the two DRS zones but it's not traditionally viewed as a power truck I don't think Abu Dhabi um, as well uh, bear with us a few minutes so I'm afraid we're we're losing hydraulic pressure there's a leak somewhere in the system so just sit tight for a bit good good Every that, that, I, I, that, that's two in it. That's two in a row. It's supposed to be every other race we're getting them, but it looks like uh, it, the the F1 game has decided to throw two of them. I don't know what what's in the game to stop that bring in that mechanic, but whether it is, it's too much. Like one, the, the, I've said this before. It needs to be linked into um, durability for those failures. Um, personally, but anyway, enough about that. I'll on to our lap. Um, we're three and a bit tenths up on our previous best lap time, uh, a little bit wide there. I've set this up again, a lower down force uh, setup. So um, I'm running lower wings, so that does mean that we are going to be disadvantaged through sector one, especially not so much in sector three. Funny enough, I think that you know that's just the where. Uh, the player has a little bit of an advantage in slower corners um, as well for that fast section you know the faster corners I think we're okay we've got enough back we're not like running Italy wings but we are running lower wings and you know to, that does lose a little bit of time through the, sl the slower corners and the uh, section section one where I've never been very fast as we all come through the final corner then and uh, you know six tenths improvement um, let's see where that puts us P10 so we've jumped up that, that's what that's the other thing i was saying with r d we've jumped up the order um an actual fact fernando alonso the man who is retiring it out of this career mode takes pole in his final ever race hamilton p2 uh, verstappen p3 ferrari's way down the order and science disqualified don't know what happened to him uh, i don't have any replays and qualifying i he may have got stuck or something out on track um, but you know uh, I didn't really think we'd improve that much you know Albon I don't think got a clean lap in on the fight and his final run otherwise he probably would have been up there as well so yes we might get further promotions as well you know with a couple uh, not being able to so far, um, have putting fresh engines in the back as well so uh, yes for one final time uh, in season one it's time for the race It's the final chapter of the season then here at the spectacular Yas Marina circuit. It's a race where the pole sitter failed to finish in three of the first four events. A front row start here is by no means a guarantee of victory. 
We go into battle once more then, as we get underway at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. We have 16 corners here at Yas Marina Circuit, seven to the right and nine to the left. It's a total lap distance of 3.28 miles, two long straights and overtaking opportunities throughout the lap. And we expect average lap speeds of around 123 miles per hour. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. An immense lap from Fernando Alonso yesterday puts him on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who will start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Russell, Perez, Charles Leclerc, and Norris, Magnussen, Phoenix, Ricardo, and Valtteri Bottas, Hamilton, Sonoda, Esteban Ocon, They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Vettel, Joe, Stroll, Carlos Sainz, and Pierre Gasly. They've taken a grid penalty. Albon and Mick Schumacher. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you here with us today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. It's been a long season, but let's try to end it on a high note. So starting P8, we've been promoted up the order a little bit, thanks to some last minute engine uh, um, penalties. So, you know, I think we get a good result. Uh, Abra Dhabi's not typically a good track of mine. Never won here. Don't think you've ever been on the podium um, as well. So we'll have to wait and see what we can do. Five red lights though. Uh, the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and away we go and it's as usual a mediocre start um, as well as Ricardo goes past on the Dardania side of Ricardo and retain uh, P8 I think it is but you know Leclerc has been forced out we're trying to have a look around the outs uh, a little bit there's contact with Ricardo we're going to force him out you know as Ricardo uh, decides to, to get stick his nose in again at the hairpin again then uh, the little uh, mini map on the bottom left hand corner um, fortunately no damage for us um, but you know that's a little bit of an issue a glitch by the way the, the mini map on the bottom left hand corner uh, not um, showing us in the correct position as we're diving it down the inside of Leclerc I'm going to cut and cross him and that's a faster P7 Leclerc falling asleep behind Russell was on medium compound tyres you know there was no contact here I don't think you know, Leclerc not totally awake and aware of me making that move though, going into that as the two rebels are battling up the road um, as well. Um, but already Leclerc is having to go back to sector one, as I said, is horrible for me, unable to really keep it flowing through that corner, um, you know, to try and make it up for the uh, second sector. Uh, you know on these two straights and you know to be able to run away and we're able to do that a little bit of weaving going on um, as well to deter let try and break the slipstream from Leclerc as we're watching up the road this is for the race lead it's for Stappen versus Alonso and Verstappen has the inside line Alonso has elected to start on the medium compound tyres don't know what's going on there um yeah that's looking like a mistake you know russell's not made any ground and it looks like the mediums isn't the tire to start on as well as alonso tries to come back at verstappen but it's unable to do that um and actually fact a couple of laps later perez has got passed and now alonso is coming under threat from lando norris who's trying to have a good end to the season uh can he run up with a podium he's already got two a win and a second place so far this season but um, they are going to carry on battling, as are Magnussen and Russell. Uh, you know, Russell um, uh, gets the better line out of, Mag out of that corner ahead of Magnussen. We're trying to get get, get past Magnussen. Yes, he's not a threat to us anymore, um, Hassan, but, you know, it'd be nice to see. We're trying all sorts of moves to get around him, um, you know, try and... 
all sorts of line I'm able to get past this as Alonso and Norris I keep on battling that's going to play into Red Bull's hands as they're just going to check out at the front this way and Alonso keeps the position for now um, as well as going to defend on Leclerc um, as well again through that up to that approach up to that turn, what, turn five I think it is that's where um, the AI just are OP compared to me I've got nothing to AM to answer them. Jump to lap four. Um, we've now got DRS. Again, Leclerc this time out of that uh, little chicane as well. That I also get a poor exit as well. That's the other thing as Norris has been forced wide as well. Can we get past him? No, we can't. So Magnus is passed. We're going to dive down here. Yes, we are. Uh, Norris caught, caught asleep. We're up to P6, a little bit unorthodox place to make a move, but nevertheless, um, um, a nice overtake. But here's what happened to Norris, and he's battling uh, Fernando Alonso again. He's just gone deep into that new corner. Um, you know, you, you know, if you make a mistake there, then that's catastrophic. And then we catch uh, Norris, you know, sleeping behind Magnussen and dive down the inside and get past him. You know, why is uh, unsettled in the car? Um, as well as so we're watching uh, Lewis Hamilton and sadly for Lewis um, his time um, he did have an engine penalty anyway he wanted the people that gave us a position but sadly that new engine hasn't worked for him and that's him out of the race um, which is a little bit alarming for Mercedes um, you know you know I think with a bit more reliability and a bit more pace they could be able to improve but um, that's not happened as you saw there Norris on the goers and you know Norris is now looking a little bit slow I don't know if he's got a bit of floor damage from running that wide or something but Leclerc is now going to breeze past and lock up there I think for Leclerc um, in turn one um, as well now that's going to bring Leclerc onto the back of me we're going to let be a bit tactical here let him go and we're going to have the DRS now I, th I just tried this just to see if we can get you know get the advantage for the second DRS straight where I, you know the AI get the better traction compared to me at the first one out of turn five I get the better exit um, as well as we're watching uh, Russell v Alonso versus Magnussen and again Magnussen unable to get past um, uh, Russell again go, he's actually gone a bit wide there but we've fallen out of DRS Magnussen and you know when we jump to lap the end of lap six we are going to come in for our one and only stop onto a set of medium compound tyres um, which will see us through to the end of the race don't know what the medium compound runners are going to do whether they'll do the smart option and pick the softs or they'll do the idiotic option and pick the halves 2.4 second stop that's not bad so can't unable to jump Magnuson, but we do keep in front of Leclerc as we come under the uh, tunnel here. Um, again, the, uh, the mini map on the bottom corner isn't really accurate to where our position. Um, but yes, we come out ahead of Ricardo there, uh, not Morris um, as well. But um, on these mediums, we've gone purple in sector two, and you know, all of a sudden, you know, we were falling behind. Uh, Magnuson. I don't know if that was a bit of a tight bit of tire wear, you know, whether the Haas has got a bit more tire wear upgrades, which is why I was able to push later. Um, but we've now got DRS. We're coming back at Magnuson and we're going to go around the outside here. Um, so we're going to leave the room on the inside then swoop across to take the position away in K back and up to P6 um, with more people to stop. An actual fact there's Russ and Alonso. Both out on hearts, as is Perez, the idiot's move. And we're going to get, you know, side by side with Russell. And just like that, we've jumped them. We've undercut Russell and Alonso, and we're up onto the podium. Now, can we stay there? That's what we're going to have to wait and see. We've got six lap left to go. Russell has a go down the inside, but again, he's on hard tyres. So we've got more grip available to us, but he is all over the back of us. He is in the Mercedes, but, um, you know, he takes a tight line here. This is the next lap, and he, he get, almost loses it. And that allows Alonso to go past, which does initially give us a bit of breathing room for lap 13. 
again pour out that corner look how much we lose the AI fault five tenths and look at Alonso go he's got a great launch out of that corner we're going to defend the inside um, which allows us to go wide in that corner a little bit uh, hand frustration don't know if there was contact or not and we'll get a replay on board with Fernando um, as well as he's trying to you know trying to squeeze him and then he just decides that we're not there um, as well a little bit of contact on the side on the uh, side pod there again jump to lap 15 that takes a couple more laps for Fernando to come back to us and in his final race he looks like oh gone wide though uh, Alonso is going to try and go past here uh, we want to keep our first podium Alonso step thinks again and steps out of it and that might be it for Alonso in his final race as well as Perez Nab's final fastest lap from Verstappen not that that matters at all because they, they it's pretty much one two and we come across the line out the final corner for a podium a podium I didn't think we were getting a podium in this series you know um, after the performances we've had but um, you know the grid is closed up um, and I think that you know with the AI being a bit more raceable now after that patch that they did um, there's definitely there was definitely an improvement there you know we set off our yes it was we were helped by Alonso and Russell pitting the hards if they had pit for softs we would have been a sitting duck we would not have got third um, they would have breezed past us especially Russell because you know that they would have had so much more grip and so much more pace and better cars but they chose the hard tyre and that was their downfall today so you know Verstappen and Perez actually jumped sights in the end after Sainz's disqualification um, in, in the end you know we'll take 10th and 7th in the both championships um, as well um, so yes it means that 10 people uh, got podiums in this first season half the grid um, as well, I'm interested to see where we go for season 2 um, as well you know there's lots of storylines still to come um, for season 2 which will be out next Monday Bank Holiday Monday uh, and there will be some modded liveries as well um, featuring in that episode as we normally do not to the extent of uh, not quite the big extent that um, we usually see from later crews but you know starting off with the mods um, for season two um, no performance mods as yet I want um, I think that we can push on uh, and you know get adjust the AI um, accordingly and try and find that sweet spot uh, for the AI which I yet to do so um, as well so and on that note, I'm going to reveal to all of those who stay to the end uh, the team that we're going to be driving for because we've had an email from Christian Horner, um, you know, the big boss at Red Bull. Um, he says, Hi Pete, so firstly, congratulations on on completing first season, blah, de, blah, de, blah, de, blah. Usual congratulations performance review because I think we've done well especially at Belgium, you know, uh, where the AI were, you know, we thought they'd be OP in a straight line, you know. Lately, you know, that's just me trying to adjust, find the sweet spot of the AI, and we've got some good results. Once I do find it, you know, it'll be a bit more of a challenge to be able to uh, meet the AI. But notice the emphasis on R&D upgrades, and Christian wants us to do that a similar thing where we've taken Williams, you know, from a effectively a tail ender team to the bottom of the midfield yes we're still the slowest team on paper but if you look at the r and tree tree oh, excuse me r and d trip uh, line progression we've actually closed the gap based on to the top teams compared to where we started at bahrain and they want and christian wants us to do something for alpha tarry which is a better team and try and take them to the top of the midfield like by battling for like the likes of McLaren uh, for fourth place in the championship so that's where we'll be moving to we'll be moving to Alpha Tauri we'll have all the driver transfers and all the liveries revealed next week um, as well don't forget F1 Manager 2022 is out on th 
Thursday as well. Um, so, yes. Until the next video, then, I'll see you next time. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy your day, and goodbye.